right, we're here at the NAMM Show 2013. I'm here with Young Guru from New Jersey. Yes. He had a, a, a big hand in the III studio um, headphones. Tell me what, what went into this. Um, actually, III approached me and um, we wanted to do something together. So kind of looking at the market, you know, you would say, why do another headphone? Um, but we kind of looked at it and said, well, what's the thing that's not being serviced right now? So uh, I wanted to do a headphone with them that was something that could be reliable for every person that's sitting in a bedroom um, or an untreated room to actually have something good to mix on. Um, that was the main concept that went into it. So it was like going in, um, figuring out the correct drivers, going through so many different drivers to uh, find the one that had the perfect frequency response, um, and also the material to make it comfortable enough that when you're wearing this for three or four hours, uh, you don't get tired and your ears don't get tired. So for me, it was more of a collaboration. I've, I've been approached by so many different people, but I felt like III has the same type of ideas that I do, uh, especially aesthetically. I don't want, it's not something where, oh, let's throw the logo all over it. It's not about being a, a fashion statement. It very much is a studio uh, piece of equipment. And that's, that was the main idea, was to make something that people could mix in, um, actually in their rooms. And, and also if you're in a, you know, a professional studio, something to, make, to be another reference. Yeah. And what part of the frequency spectrums are you thinking about uh, when you're auditioning them that, that engineer on the engineering side would be more yeah. good? My whole thing is that I want it to be as flat as possible. I didn't want there to be huge bumps in anything. You know, obviously it's impossible to do completely flat, but to get as flat as possible, to give you a true representation of whatever the music is so it carries across uh, when you mix to every other format. Uh, that was the main thing. I'm looking mainly, at, especially at the at the, those mid-range levels, uh, and I don't like the EQ bumps that are in a lot of the other headphones in the low end, so I wanted to make sure that I was flat so that we, we can have that true representation. How much time do you spend monitoring with headphones? Uh, I do a lot, especially uh, I'm in that normal situation as well where I have a studio but also I have neighbors. So, you know, I go a lot. I'm, I'm like every other person. I have children, you know, you're working during the day and a lot of your things are being done at night. So a lot of times at night I am monitoring through headphones. So I'd say probably about a good six to seven hours uh, I'm in a headphone. Yeah. So and these uh, cups are very comfortable. I put them on myself, but yeah, they're but they're removable. Yes, they're actually removable. Um, and that was one of the things I, I worked hard to make sure that the clamp was strong enough that when you're when you're moving around, it's not just going to pop off, mm -hmm. but it has to be a direct. Okay, I want to take these off. That's one of the replaceable things. Of course, the you know the cable is replaceable. Uh, but again, just in thinking of the cable, making sure that the cable was a screw-on cable and not just a plug-in cable, uh, and as well giving you a lot of leeway here so that when you're moving around inside of the studio, the tension is here and not necessarily right. on the connection. Yeah, yeah. So not tangling up around you as absolutely. well. Absolutely, absolutely. What are you working on right now? Uh, right now I'm working on a group out of Harlem called the Rat Kings. They're signed to XL, the same label that put out Adele. Uh, I'm also going around DJing all over the world, uh, doing lectures. I have the Young Guru Foundation. Uh, I just gave away a scholarship in South Africa uh, wow. in, in association with SAE. So I'm doing some associate professorship uh, teaching with SAE, but that was my main thing was to give away a scholarship just to a young man or a young lady that wouldn't be able to afford uh, an audio engineering school. Uh, that was real important to me. Doing a lot of uh, philanthropy like that. And I'm also writing a book, an engineering book, but mainly focused on uh, hip hop music and R&B music and uh, or should I just say loop based music or music that we make in a computer trying to give some more information on that and, and, and as well as uh, just giving some of the, the ways that I use the computer or the way that I uh, mix my records uh, and it's also going to be interactive it's, it, there will be video of, of myself miking a drum kit so that you can actually hear here's the difference when you move it one foot two feet, three feet away um, just using the technology, you know it's, 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 it's a new time and new day so instead of just words we can now present you know, full books just for students to get a greater understanding. Right. Yeah. When will we see this book? Um, hopefully, hopefully by the end of the summer. Oh. I should I should have it out by the end of the summer. Yes. Fantastic. Yes. Well, thank you very much for your time. No, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Young Guru, and uh, the III Studio headphones.